You've probably imagined what it might be like to walk across a room without being able to see. Perhaps you've even experienced a temporary loss of sight. To most of us, this concept is scary and difficult to grasp, and let's face it, it's something we hope to never experience. But for 25 million Americans, significant loss of sight is a struggle that they face every single day. Now imagine you've sat down at the computer to research a product, and you are no longer able to see the computer screen. All you are left with are tools such as a refreshable braille keyboard and your sense of hearing. Suddenly, doing online research has become very difficult. In 1973, the Americans with Disability Act was passed to make sure that the world was a more friendly and accessible place for people with handicaps. The law included things such as sidewalk ramps and modification requirements to public transportation. In the 90s, the law was modified to include Section 508, which extended requirements for handicap access to online technology and information. This extension of the law was put in place to ensure that every American has the ability to access important and sometimes life-saving information on the Internet. To demonstrate the importance of 508 remediation to the heart of sight, we visited the Tennessee School for the Blind. Marcus, a senior at the school, and his instructor, Sarah, were kind enough to help us better understand the difference between a remediated and an unremediated document. My name is Marcus Johnson, and I'm a 17-year-old graduating senior attending the Tennessee School for the Blind. If there was one thing that I could share with the world about accessibility issues, I think that it would be that it's really important to make sure that information is available to you know, everyone whether it be someone with disabilities or without disabilities. And the way that information is portrayed now, it's, it's not very easy to read for people with disabilities. If the PDF is not formatted correctly, it will be really difficult for somebody to gather information about instructions on how to use the product or maybe how to assemble the product. Um, it, can, it can really make a difference on whether or not somebody's gonna purchase a product or even a school. If they have certain information, a schedule or a calendar in a PDF, it can be really difficult to gather that information as well. How different for families and students who are blind or visual? Uh, it would be a lot easier if, for a document like this, especially with the different articles and other sections you can access, if um, there was some way, like bookmarks, for you to jump through to different sections so you could find them easier. Um, because right now there's no specific way to find the information you want. As I read the document, it doesn't appear that the document is formatted to where um, it, it reads in a logical order. The text jumps around a lot, and especially for a newsletter like this, articles like to, um, the text of the articles is often cut out, so a new article might start in, in the middle of an article that you're reading. The temporary habitat. And while there might be images in the document, um, there, there's no way to gather any information about the image, like where it is, or a description of the image, what the image is about. Um, if there's a caption with the image, um, it might read the caption, but without the image, there's, there's, not a, there's not a lot of context. My name is Sarah Bradley. I'm the Assistive Technology Instructor for the Tennessee School for the Blind. I teach computer science, but I also teach assistive technologies, which are devices and skills and tools that students use to access media as well as materials um, in different types of ways using different devices. Accessibility issues for our students is a very real, everyday issue. Um, whether it's the internet, a document, a PDF, um, being able to get the same thing everyone else is, is something that is a real issue for them. And it's not just that it's not fair that they can't access it, it inhibits them from doing their job as a student and their jobs in the future. Um, they, all, they, all, they all want to go to college, they want to have jobs, and, and something access is getting a document or reading a manual should be as easy for them as it is for a visual person. Setting level to imagine. Now, uh, this is a remediated document, and just from, you know, having a short look, uh, I can already tell it's the format is a lot better. I did not notice headings in the unremediated document, so it's already going to provide s such a big advantage being able to navigate by headings. It's so great that the the remediated document actually recognizes the images and and it reads you know, the description of the caption, 
especially because um, our newsletter like this and uh, the athletic events, there's just so much, so much information that you're not able to gather when when you don't realize the images are there. The feature that I find the most helpful in navigating a remediated PDF is the ability, to me, ability for me to quickly navigate to different sections throughout the document. It it makes reading the information so much more easier. And I don't have to scan the entire document to look for a specific piece of information. It breaks the document into pieces. I think there needs to be a greater awareness for making information accessible to everyone. 508 compliance is not just the law. It is the right thing to do. If you have found yourself suddenly unable to see your appreciation of being able to navigate your bank statement, insurance documents, a retail website, school textbooks would be invaluable. Unfortunately, many companies today are not taking proactive steps to help this section of the population and lawyers are getting rich off of lawsuits to force the issue. These million of dollar settlements increase the cost of 508 compliance exponentially and are completely avoidable. Take the steps now to become compliant. Don't be caught in an ADA lawsuit. Is your company ready to take the next step and make your online content accessible for people who are visually impaired? Our company can assist you with a free website analysis and a plan of action. Give us a call today and we'll help you get started.